When does the internet sleep? When is it most active? And not just in one place, but across the entire globe. At the Information Sciences Institute at the University of Southern California, Viterbi School of Engineering, John Heidemann is answering that question. But the internet is a beast made of over 4 billion IP addresses on a vast interconnected network. How can you get a sense of how active it is? With funding from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Heidemann and his team pinged 3.7 million IP address blocks, representing just shy of a billion unique IP addresses every 11 minutes for two months to find out when they were on or off. The result is a rendering of a cycling internet as the daylight shifts around the world. You can see when the internet is going to sleep, waking up, and when it's most active all across the globe. Areas with more sleeping have fewer active internet addresses and appear blue, while awake areas have more and are red. They found that in the United States and Europe, even though individual computers are turned on and off, the size of the public internet is nearly constant because most people connect through home routers which are always on 24-7. But in Asia, South America, and Eastern Europe, people's internet access varies over the course of the day. The number of active internet addresses increases during the day and peters out each night. This study establishes a baseline for internet activity, allowing us to better understand just how big the internet really is and how resilient it is as a whole. This will allow scientists and policymakers to develop better systems to measure and track internet outages, such as the one that struck New York after the Hurricane Sandy. Understanding how the internet cycles will help us avoid confusing a sleeping internet with an internet outage, and we can make a more reliable internet for everyone, so you can keep watching videos like this one.